watching Rogers TV. So we're here in front of the Jefferson model at Wickerson Hills. So you can see the Bowler Hill um, behind here. Uh, the theme that I've chosen for this house is modern farmhouse. So everything on the exterior will be very neutral um, with some black pops. Um, modern was really popular, but now we're kind of transitioning into more of a warm and cozy environment. I think we just are longing for that feeling of comfort when we come home. So all the finishes that I'm selecting are going to go with that theme in terms of farmhouse, but not over the top country like back in the 80s when we were into the pink and hunter green. This is more tone on tone, a lot of neutrals, but still that same warm and comfort that you get from being in the country and having a nice hot cooked meal on a cold winter's day. So that kind of theme, but still a little bit modern so it's not too dated. So inside, the house is pretty much painted. There'll probably be another coat once all of the uh, finishes are done. We are going to be working on the flooring now. Right now, all of the tile is being installed. I'm so excited to see where we're at with that. Um, once that's done, we're going to install the hardwood next. And then after that, we have to choose furniture to furnish this entire house as well, as the kitchen will be going in in the next couple weeks, so we can kind of follow that process and just see what that's gonna look like. Um, the light should be delivered in the next three weeks or so, and we'll see all of it come together into one beautiful modern farmhouse finish. Let's check it out. Let's go up and see what's going on upstairs. This looks amazing, you guys. Wow. Oh my goodness. The subway tile, which I love to use in a lot of design elements, but this one is a little bit more um, country because it's not, each line is different. Um, which, again, just kind of goes with the modern farmhouse feel that we're trying to create. Once we get the tub in here, it's going to be a phenomenal. I can hardly wait. So this is the little girl's bathroom. Um, again, we just did the 12 by 24 tile in here. It's just simple linen. It almost looks like linen if you look close at it. And then the shower surround, I chose this tile, which comes in various patterns. It's almost like a mosaic, but again, you'll see it's very tone on tone and very neutral. Um, so nothing that's gonna pop too much. And then I found this really cool um, idea on Instagram in which they almost have a design. So, do you think this is something we can do, Thomas? Yes, not a problem. We can work something out. So that would look really cool, I think, if we do that in this bathroom for the little girl. <laughs> awesome, I can't wait to see it finished. Hey guys, so we're here back at the model home. We're about four months into the new build. A lot has been going on. Uh, we're just finishing the exterior. We've got the stone up, we've got the brick up, and a lot has been going on inside. The flooring's down, the lighting's up, and the cabinetry's going up right now as we speak. So let's go in and take a look. Okay, oh wow, this looks so good. So part of the problem when you're building a new house is you have to stick within a budget. So lighting, um, you get a specific budget and you have to try not to go over that budget. Um, I love how this light turned out with the shiplap on the walls. It creates that ex exact feel that I'm trying to go for for the modern farmhouse. And then we'll go into the dining room. Um, this light I chose because of the size and the scale of it to fit the dining table, which will of course be the same shape. So it's very important that you keep that in mind and the same sort of feel throughout the house. Again, we're going with the farmhouse feel, so I did a lot of the, um, the bronze looking lights with the Edison bulbs. 
So I chose this light and this light in the great room to be exactly the same simply because you're going to see both of them from the same exact spot. So I wanted it to kind of be symmetrical and not be too overwhelming in the space. Once the cabinets go up, it's gonna be amazing. So here we go, we're gonna go upstairs. Uh, the guys are currently doing the cabinetry in the ensuite, so let's go take a look. So here we are in the ensuite. The cabinetry is uh, partially in, it's not installed completely yet. The subway tile is all done with the dark grout as well. We're just waiting on the custom shower door, which is gonna be a huge surprise, I can't wait. Um, again, we did the dark floor just for that contrast and to pull out the dark gray. With the lighting, we stuck with the industrial lighting, so you'll see we just did three very simple lights in here with the glass, and then in the washroom part where the toilet is, we just did a nice uh, semi-flush mount in there that still goes with the same theme of the modern farmhouse. And this is the boys' room, um, so I chose these lights, which will be really cool. to be over the bed so you don't have to worry about them hitting their head or anything like that, but they're just something different that I think uh, boy would like and then again we chose the Edison Bobs which fits the whole modern farmhouse theme and then in the bathroom we have Hillman uh, is doing the install here and look at the light it's so neat it looks like um, outdoor taps I guess you could call it or whatever but I just chose something that's really industrial for a little boy okay let's check out the little girls room <gasps> So in here, I wanted this to almost feel like a bird cage, but not. So I had this sort of same feel with the rustic um, elements to the light, but again, I needed it to be the wow factor. This has a vaulted ceiling, so we needed something that would be large enough for the space. So when you're choosing your lights, you have to make sure that the light you choose is large enough for the room. So if you have vaulted ceilings, if you only have eight foot ceilings, you have to take all of that into account. And of course, the size of the room. So the scale of the light has to make sense in the space. I love how this looks. And here's the ensuite where we just chose just a simple light, nothing too crazy. The tile's finished, it's grouted, it looks amazing. Okay guys, so it's the following week since we were at the Jefferson Model last and there's some exciting things happening. We've got Dave Rosser Carpentry here. They're gonna be cladding out the supporting beam to look like barn board. So one of the problems that you might experience when you're building a new home is trying to stay within the budget but come up with really kind of cool, inventful, creative ways to make your home stand out. So that's what I was trying to accomplish. So instead of creating a full beam, which will cost a lot more money, I stayed within the budget by getting these guys to clad out the supporting beam to look like a full beam. So it's gonna be really, really neat to see that come to fruition. So let's take a look. How's it going? Going good. Good stuff. So here's the uh, supporting beam that we're going to be cladding out to look like barn board. Um, so we've got Dave here. And here's the, the barn board here. He's gonna be cutting it, obviously, to get up onto the supporting beam. So how long do you think this will take you guys? It's about a two hour project start to finish. Okay. And it's a great cost effective way to kind of add some creativity into your home, right? Once it finishes up, it looks really rich at the end and looks like a custom beam. So these guys took care of doing all of the headers and the, the, uh, the trim work within the Jefferson model. It's going to be fabulous when it's done. I'm so excited. <laughs> This beam is too deep for the material that we can, we're available to get, but we're making it kind of a double layered beam look just to hide the total depth of the beam, is what we're doing. Okay, so because the supporting beam is wider than the actual material that we can get, we had to split it into two. So we're doing an eight inch section and a six inch sec section. And what that will show is the shadow line, which will create a little bit of more visual interest and some detail. And you'll see as the guys put it up, this is the, uh, the eight inch guys, eight inch that's going up now. And then we'll do a six inch underneath. It'll be about a, what, a two inch gap? 
Uh, one gap. A one inch gap in between. You'll see as they put it up what that will show. Yeah. We actually do know what we're doing, eh, Dave? <laughs> it's gonna turn out. <laughs> <laughs> kind of leaning it at first. Yeah. Where you want to go? Two one down. An inch down. Take an inch. You see it's hot. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah. I like that. You have it on the bottom? Try to scream it. I don't think so. I think it's a more of an authentic feel. So good. Okay, so the guys are finishing up here. It's almost done, but you can see now that the barn board is up, how we had to create that shadow line to kind of create some more visual interest because again, the product wasn't wide enough. So this is a cost-effective way to just add some visual interest to your space. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. Um, they're just gonna clad out the bottom, and then we're almost done. The house is almost ready for us to buy furniture, so I guess I better get shopping. Wickerson Hills, located on the edge of Byron, offers residents unique, sustainable, traditional, and contemporary designs that make the perfect backdrop for a place to call home. The way London votes has changed. This October, we'll be the first city in Canada to use ranked choice voting. Voters will have more choices with the option to rank first, second, and third choices for mayor and city councillor. Learn more at london.ca slash elections. Most people living with it don't even know they have it. I'm Alex Lifeson. My family, like many of yours, has dealt with the conditions that cause kidney disease. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family member with kidney disease, you are at risk. If you are overweight or over 50, you are at risk. And certain ethnic groups are also at higher risk. Please talk to your family doctor and have your kidney function checked regularly. Sports fans know Sundays are for football. That's why you need NFL Sunday Ticket. With NFL Sunday Ticket, you'll get every live game, every Sunday, all season long. More plays, more action, more to love, live in HD. Order NFL Sunday Ticket for only $199.99 and get up to 200 regular season games every Sunday. Call 1-888-ROGERS-1 today. Okay guys, so we're here early in the morning at the North End Home Sense on Hyde Park. They've been kind enough to open early for us. If you've been following along, we've been preparing for this modern farmhouse Jefferson model. And here today we have to go shopping. We've been given a budget from Jefferson to buy all of the furnishings for the entire model. And let's see what we can find. I'm here with my team. They're gonna help me shop and hopefully we'll come out with a lot of great products. Too. So for the counters, I think we poured in the market on towels. <laughs> so the reason why I like to come to HomeSense is I can find everything I want at a very good price. Sometimes you just come in and you can find one-stop shop, you can get everything, your furniture, your bedding, your accessories lamps, you name it, you can find it here. I love this store, I come all the time. They have up-to-date furnishings, up-to-date product. We're always on trend and it's cost-effective, so you cannot beat coming here. <music> Guys, look, at, I love these bar stools. I think we have to watch the budget and because no one's gonna be sitting on them, I think we're better off to go with these, with the wood slab. They still go with the modern farmhouse feel, but they're $100 cheaper and because comfort isn't an issue, no one's gonna use them, they're just to look nice, I think we should go with these ones instead. Save $300 essentially, right? You guys agree? Okay, awesome, so we'll take these three then. Okay, so we can check the bar stools off the list, girls. 
Oh, I like that. Oh, I didn't even see it. This is perfect. That's perfect for the farmhouse. I'm a bad driver, look out, I'm short. Okay, so the thing that I like about this is it's very rustic. It kind of goes with the whole farmhouse theme. This is see-through, so whatever we hang it on, which, whichever wall, the color will show through, so I like that as well. We could hang this kind of in the kitchen. I like it. Just two. Okay, love it. Where's our cart? <laughs> this is very nice. Just in case you need a little pepper. <laughs> so I do need to get some dishes. In the kitchen at this model that we're doing, we have mesh screening, so you're going to be able to see inside the cabinetry. So we need to fill up the cupboards. So what I want is some porcelain jugs. Um, not too bright white, a little ivory would be nice. So let's see what we can find. Ash, are these kind of farmhouse? They're cute, don't you think? For the cupboard? Actually, this says cream. That's very farmhouse. Yeah. Look. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Five dollars on clearance. That makes my heart happy. Just string on a spool, but I thought it kind of we could put it in a bowl. It really depicts modern farmhouse, right? Just to have some some yarn and some string and just the nice muted colors. Oh. When you fall in love with our product. Okay, it's been a successful shopping spree at HomeSense this morning, bright and early. We've got a lot of great product. I can't wait to set up this house. Stay tuned for the finished product. Okay guys, today is the big day. We're moving in all the furniture at the Modern Farmhouse model that I've been working on. I've ordered stuff from all over. Uh, HomeSense, StruckTube, Wayfair, Ikea, um, you name it. I have been shopping for months and I can't wait to set it all up and have this finally finished and then we can have the big open house and the big reveal. So the guys are moving stuff in from one extra guy here. We've got some live edge bar stools that I ordered that I love. They kind of fit with the feel of the modern farmhouse with the black metal legs. They kind of fit, go with the, uh, the faucet and the handles on the cabinets. Um, all the beds are coming in right now. We've got the sofa on its way, area rug, pillows. It's gonna come together really, really, really well. I can hardly wait. Okay, so I found this perfect uh, farmhouse table that's quite long, but it was awesome. So I had to purchase it, but I'm really worried it's going to be too long and it's going to stick out too far and then I don't know what we're going to do because then we won't have a table. It's, it's crunch time. We'll see when the guys bring it in if it's going to be too long or not. Here it comes. Did you guys bring one extra guy? No, no. <laughs> no extras? Just two? Is it good? Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Yay! Like you couldn't have planned it better yourself. <laughs> so black one in there. Two twins in here. And the white, yeah, and the white one in there. What's that one? Twin. Okay, it's all coming together. We have a lot of the furniture in now. We just have to start assembling it and then we'll be all ready for the open house. Hopefully everyone can come and see what it looks like. Wickerson Hills, located on the edge of Byron, offers residents unique, sustainable, traditional, and contemporary designs that make the perfect backdrop for a place to call home.
The way London votes has changed. You now have the option to rank up to three choices for both mayor and ward councillor. Also new, the way a winner is determined and the way we announce the results. Keep up with all the changes at london.ca slash elections. After a night out with your friends, there's always options for getting home safely. You could call your BFF, your mom or dad, whoever you can count on for a safe ride home. You could call your favorite cab company or one taxi guy. Or you could use the Arrival Live smartphone app to help you choose your ride. Be it a friend, transit, or taxi, getting home safely is app easy. Now available for iOS and Android devices. Visit arrivealive.org to find out more. Arrive Alive. Drive sober. I'm usually on camera one, which is a tight shot. So I grab players' faces and I follow the puck around for the entire game. And during whistles, I'll grab either the coach or any player on the ice. I love being a volunteer at Rogers because I get to work with so many different people and I get to work with equipment and directors and producers to actually create shows and mobiles and I can use that to apply my future. Okay guys, we're finally done the Jefferson Homes Modern Farmhouse. I can't wait for you to see. Let's go in and take a look. Okay guys, we're now in the foyer, in the entranceway you would call it, in the Modern Farmhouse, in which we ship lap the entire entrance. If you look, you'll see how tall and elongated the walls are, how it looks like it's a 20 foot uh, high ceiling, which is the whole purpose of ship lapping. It creates just that wow factor in the foyer. Now we're gonna go into the dining room, which I'm so excited with how this turned out. I had a custom made sign uh, created for Jefferson Homes that just kind of adds to the whole modern farmhouse feel. The table that we got, as you remember, from um, one of the stores here in London, and then the chairs that we had painted. Um, and then there's the mosaic tile in the fireplace, which just kind of creates some interest and a little bit of um, mosaic pattern within the space, which I just absolutely love. And then here's the kitchen, which couldn't have turned out better. The chicken wire on the cabinets. I love, love, love how this turned out. Just something different. It's pretty normal and expected to either have a flat cabinet or glass, but to do this, if you're gonna create the modern farmhouse, it just adds that element within the space. The lights, because they're a dark metal, they just kind of draw the eye to the room and they could not have looked better. The arabesque backsplash, we use the dark grout and I think it just pops on, on the wall and I think it looks awesome. The quartz countertops came in and they look amazing. And again, we chose the dark uh, faucets, farmhouse style of course, and then the apron sink, which I just love. And I don't know if you remember, but we were cladding the entire supporting beam with pine and it turned out incredible. I am so pleased with how it looks. And in fact, we started a trend here in London. People are starting to do it now in their homes. Great idea if you're trying to incorporate warmth and a little bit of a transitional feel in your space, add some wood elements, you can't go wrong. And now we're in the great room in which I'm so excited with how this turned out. I had this coffee table actually custom made for this space so that it was big enough. This is a pretty big room. We incorporated the wood element here um, underneath the shelf just to make it feel like it's an actual fireplace even though of course it's not. Um, and just very tone on tone neutrals in this space was what I was going for. But again, we carried the mosaic tile over to the other side just so that there's some consistency within the, the main floor as well as the mantle. We made it pretty rustic to go with the cladded beam here. Okay guys, so now we're gonna enter the little girl's room and again, if I had a little girl, I would want her to be in this space. We painted the walls just a soft pink. I purchased a white bed with all white neutral linens and then just a hint of pink and a little bit of gray. And then again, you'll see that I had this custom made just for the little girl's room. I love how it turned out and I had the frame created as well. 
then we walk into her bathroom and I carried the mosaic tile in through here as well just because I absolutely love this tile and for a little girl I think it's perfect. Okay guys, now we're gonna go into the little boys room because we can't have a special little girls room without a boys room, of course. So in this space, I wanted to have two twin beds because I think it's very farmhouse and so cute. How cute is this light? Come on, it's so cute. And then, as we talked about in one of the episodes was this amazing counter from Sloan that almost looks exactly like concrete, but it's not. It's actually a quartz material. Okay, so now we're gonna come into the ensuite, which I am so in love with how it turned out. Again, we talked about the subway tile with the dark grout. It looks so awesome, and it, it just grounds the space, creates that visual flow with the dark elements. The tub is so cute. I just wanna have a bath, actually. <laughs> now we'll go into the master bedroom. Again, just very nice. I always like to use white linens in my master bedrooms. Um, can't have enough accent pillows. Nice tall headboard. Um, I love the texture of this headboard. And again, it's very tone on tone. There's not a ton of color, but I did incorporate a little bit of navy blue just just for a little pop. So that's the final walkthrough of the Modern Farmhouse. It's been a long project, but I'm so thrilled with how it turned out. And now it's time for the big reveal. The grand opening is about to start. This home is phenomenal. Uh, Jillian Summer from Upstaging, who's done all the design, is totally on trend. And honestly, I'm ready to move in. It is that beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, all the details she has done. We just purchased a house, but I even told her, I'm like, I think we made a mistake. I should have bought this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just want to talk about the kitchen. Absolutely love it. Wide open, great stove. The sink is right across from the stove. Fridge is right behind you. You have a little walk-in pantry as well. As chefs, we love storage. Having a walk-in pantry right off of your stove area works great. I think it's beautiful. This house is, uh, shows really well, great space. Uh, I love the, uh, the extra en suites for the bedrooms upstairs. Um, and the open concept feel and, and the modern finishes, it's just, it's awesome. It's exactly the kind of place I'd be looking for uh, for my family in, uh, in the Byron area. So, big thumbs up. I would say all the tiles, like the, there's tiling in the showers and on the fireplace downstairs. I could move right in. I love it. I love it. 